Greetings, Ian from RTO here. Welcome to Wednesday Marathon. Today we look at those big catalogues. And today we have got a viewer's request for you. Carrying on from Chrome, we're going to be looking at solo career of Helios Creed. Or as he was born, Barry Johnson. He was a singer. He was came to fame in Chrome. Uh, when the Chrome broke up in the mid 80s, um, Helios decided to form a, a little band and um, go and make some albums. And he's made up to date 17 of them. Um, once again, um, a, a, bar, a person that I don't know much about, but having listened to Chrome and then listened to Helios Creed, I really got what Helios Creed is about. I think he's a very creative man who's got some he's got some ideas that are not on out of my comfort zone but I've really enjoyed listening to these albums every one of found something I really like on them so here we go so the 17 to go through so coming in at number 17 we get to the seventh album released in 1994 and it's called Busting Through the Van Allen Belt. Now this is a few studio tracks and some live stuff. So it's got very much two sort of bands on here. So uh, the people played on here. We've got Helios Creed on vocals, guitars, percussion. Dale Datamar on synth of a scyther on hyperventilation. Paul Fox bass guitar on hyperventilation. Tommy Grenus guitar on hyperventilation. Chris McKay plays bass guitar on Late Bloomer and Lactate in Purple. Paul Delapel drums on Hyperventilation, Late Bloomer and Lactate in Purple. Len DeRio is keyboards and synthesizer on Hyperventilation. S. Silver keyboards. Nick Turner saxophone on Hyperventilation. Andrew Weiss on bass guitar on Drowning Sin and Bubble Butt and John Vice on drums on Drowning Sin and Bubble Butt. First track on here is called Feelings. It's a very short track. Um, I love it. It's it's very Doctor Who-y from the 70s, like that. Busting through the Van Allen Belt again, pretty cool. Lots of drum machines on it, but it sounds really good. Nothing wrong with that. Screamer, definitely weird. The drum machine keeps speeding up and slowing down. It's all over the place. An alien lady. I really couldn't get into that. Then the live section is just hyperventilation, late bloomer, lactating purple, drowning sin and bubble butt. I like the live stuff. It's pretty good. I wouldn't go out and buy it, but it's pretty good to listen to. Um, it's a bit of a mixed bag album. I, I, I'm really not into albums that you get half live and half studio. You're either one or the other. But that's some pretty good stuff on here. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of four out of five, four point five. Sorry. Okay, then coming in at number sixteen, we go to 1991 now, and the fifth album, and it's called Lactate in Purple. On this one, we've got Helios Creed. Paul Kirk on the bass, Paul Delapel on drums, and S. Silver Synthesizer. Okay, first track is the title track called Lactate in Purple. What I find about this musically is very good, but the vocal delir delivery, it's, I don't understand it at all. I think this track worked a lot better live, that's all I'll say. Flying through the, the ether, one of these short space rackety sort of um, tracks. Herb the Wall. What I have discovered about this into Helio, Helios Creed is he's a very good guitar player. There's nothing on his, his style is unique for me. Um, I like his guitar playing on this, but I don't like the rest of the track. Then we get this three minute fourth called Ni Butcher Zana. Interesting music, but you can't hear the lyrics. Modular Green. Again, 
I like the music, it's quite psychedelic, but I don't understand the lyrics, I cannot hear what they're saying. Big Bang, another solid track, even though the lyric content is a bit distorted, it's a really good tune. The Radiated, some really good guitar work here from Helios, the trimming is pretty good as well. Spider, I'm not keen on this one, it's just lots of noise I'm afraid. And here's an interesting title, Marshall Sperm and Bagpipes. I really didn't get on with it. Oh, it gave me a headache. Um, and then my favourite track on here is a thing called Amenti. I love the arrangement. The keyboard is so eerie. And again, Helios's guitar work is pretty impressive. An interesting album. Uh... Musically, I like it, but I did struggle with it, trying to hear what they're singing about. But on the whole, it was okay. I am starting to get to the point where you sort of, okay, I don't understand the lyrics, but musically, it's okay. So I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 5 out of 10. Okay, then coming in at number 15, go to the 8th album, released in 1994, Planet X. On here, there's Helios Creed, Chris McKay on the bass, Paul Delapel on drums, and Zed Silver on the synthesizer. First track on this one is called Television. Some interesting drum in here from Paul Delapel. I mean, I think he's been around, he has drummed on Chrome as well. Uh, I think he's a pretty good drummer for this sort of music. Funny arrangement. So it's like, um, it was okay. Fire in the Head. Not a bad track musically, but again, I don't know what the lyrics are all about. Dogstar. I just really couldn't get my head around that one. Kurt Zombie. Love the bass line here from Chris McKay. Really interesting bass line that really does dominate the track. Some nice guitar work here from Helios. Waves. I like this even though the lyrics are funny. <laughs> it's really heavy metal crash bang wallop. But I like that. It's quite a little quirky little track. First Encounter. I quite like this. In its own little way. Quirky little number. Then my favourite track on this called Plato's Cave. Um, I think it's just a really nice arrangement. It's got a, quite a catchy tune as well. Then we get Won't Kill Myself. Another good track with a bass line. Interesting drums. Yeah, it's okay. Next Encounter. Good track. This is good metal beat. Then we get a thing called The Ascent and what a noise. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I just didn't like it at all. Okay, get a mixed bag on here. What most of these albums, um, there's ones I really like and there's ones I really don't like. But I'm going to give this one an RCO ranking of 5.4. Time for some coffee. Okay, then coming in at number 14, we go to 2006 now and the 16th album, and it is called Deep Blue Love Vacuum. On here, we have got Helios Creed as usual on the guitars and basses. Jerry Page on guitar. An electric door spring. Whatever, one or whatever that is. Organ Moog. Paul Delapel on the drums. Jeff Pincus on bass and banjo. Blair Bob. Bob. Jerg Herg. Thurman. Theremin. And Fabian Shine on the vocals. First track is called Intro. And in brackets, deep blue love vacuum. I like the drumming on here. Lots of echo, atmospheric. The other guitar work is good. Even the lyrics sound okay on that. I can go with that one. Beginning of the light. Beginning of light. Unlike. The only thing I like on it is the, is the guitar work. Everything else is just mishmash of sound. Got to have someone... I love the bass and drum on it, and that's it. 
Then we get my favourite track on this one, Sandbox Junkum. I really like this. I love the lyric. Sounds really good. Great guitar solo. Fantastic little track. Fields of Green, another really good track. It's very 60s, very psychedelic as well, not bad at all. Help Me Bitch, I just found it irritating. All Tomorrow's Parties, now this is a Lou Reed cover. And all I'll say about it, it's a lot better than Lou Reed's. Not a bad effort, actually. Let me get another dimension. This is a catchy little number. Definitely space rock feel to it. Really good. Tell me your name. Very quirky with banjo. Nothing wrong with that. Then we get Harry J. Krishna. I like the track, but I don't understand the lyrics again. Cowboy is just not my cup of tea at all. Um, his Murder Machine, a short little ditty. It's the only song that's actually got some proper singing on it. That's okay. To 2012. Really good. Nice riffs on this. Interesting lyric, but it's solid enough. And then See You in the Next World. A very solid track on here. I do like this one. It's my second favourite track on here. This is an album certainly of two halves. Um, the first half is pretty weak, but the second half of the album is excellent. I'd say from track eight onwards they are really strong tracks except Cowboy. So I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 5.5. Okay then, coming in at number 13, I've got the fourth album here, uh, from 1990, and it's called Boxing the Clown, it is Helios Creed on vocals, guitars, Mark Duran, Duran, sorry, on bass, and Ray, Ray Washam on drums, so it's a three-piece band. First track on here is a little short ditty called Master Blaster, very uh, 50s sounding in places, very good. Sunspot, some good guitar work here from Helios. And the vocals are pretty good on it as well. Black Hole. One of them tracks that I just don't like. Got me floating musically. It's brilliant. It's it's a very punky sounding thing. Great little track. Go Blind, don't mind this one. Some nice guitar work on this one as well. But you just can't understand the vocals. Hyperventilation. It's a very good track. Oh, I like it live. And it is very crone. <laughs> then we get my favourite track on here, Sister Sarah. Great track. A really good vocal that's clear. Really nice. Neptune. Another track I just can't get my head around. Although it has got some interesting guitar effects on it. Big Clown. Very disjointed. But it has got some nice guitar effects. As as for most of these albums, I keep saying, there's some really good stuff on here. And there's some really stuff I don't like. But uh, I've, I've come to get to this thing with Helos Cream. I'm not going to like every track on the album. But I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 5.6. Okay then, coming in at number 12, we go to the sixth album, released in 1992, and it is called Kiss to the Brain. On here we've got Helios Creed, Paul Kirk on the bass, Paul Delapel on drums, Z Silver on synthesizer, and Crystal Chamber does some additional vocals. First track is called XL 35 Inches. Um, I like some of the arrangements, but it's the vocal delivery that kills me again. Mountain Mystery. I don't particularly like this, but when you listen to it, I do appreciate the musicianship on it. I really do. To get these sort of weird and wonderful sounds is something else. It's very, very well put together if you're into this stuff it big time i just appreciate it and we get maliva millennium nice track 
a little bit weird and wonderful. Got some great slap bass on it. The guitar riffs are good. Then we got Anubis Warpus, an interesting track. Got some nice guitar work on that. The Federation, it's a very short two minute thing. Great guitar playing from Helios Creed, like that. Kiss the Brain, I love this. It reminds me, it's a space rock meets Black Sabbath in places. So the riffs are really heavy and it's one of my favorite tracks, I think by Helios Creed. Throw Away the Rind, good little rock track, nothing wrong with that one. Nemesis, very weird. I just don't get on with them tracks. Legs, another really good track. Great riffs in that one. Acid Brain, the bass is great. Very prominent on this track. Drives it along. It's a pretty good track. Even the lyric is quite passable. Quite like this album. It's got some really good guitar work and some of the rock tracks are really rocky. So I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 6 out of 10. Okay then, coming in at number 11, we got the 12th album from 1998 and it's Chromo Magnum Man. On here we've got Helios Creed, um, Z Silver on Sins. Tommy L. Cyborg on Drum Machine. I wonder if that's just the name of the drum machine. Nova Kane on guitar. Theo Creed. Must be a some sort of re relative on guitar. Paul Delapel on drums. We've got John Haynes on drums on here. Hilary Haynes from, from Chrome on bass. And Chris McKay. First track. Dimension 5. An interesting drum beat. Quite quirky. Then we get my favourite track. It's only a very short thing, but it's called A Thousand Years of Space, The Gate. Atmospheric, eerie, great guitar solos, really good. Then we got World Infiltration 3, The Dragon. This is one of them tracks that the drum machine sounds backwards and then goes forwards. Bit iggledy-piggledy, but it kind of works. Then we get Dimension 6. More backward drumming on here. <laughs> Weird. Um, with the Rapture, I love the drumming on this. One of my favourite tracks on the album. Even the weird ly lyric delivery is good. Twilight Zone. Of course it is. It's dear, 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 but dun, 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 industrial type sound. Pretty good. Um, level 7. Very industrial. Again, I love the keyboard effects on this oh dear my throat sorry about that uh, then we get fallen it's weird but i love the drumming it's very 80s new wave in places then we get the title track chromo magnum man i just don't like it it just sounds awful got no just give me a bit of a headache Again, an album with some very interesting tracks on this. I'm really impressed with some of the some of the arrangements on this one, uh, and I'll give this one an RTO ranking of six point five. Okay, then coming in at number ten, we're at a 1989 now for the third album, The Last Laugh. Again, it's another three-piece version of the. For him, he's got Helios Creed vocals, guitar production, Daniel House on bass guitar, and Jason Finn on the drums. First track is Some Way Out, The Dream, and The Diplomat. I love this. The bass line on here from Daniel is pretty good. Great vocal as well. Bend Over. It's okay. Some great drumming on here. Pretty listen track. Then we've got Nibrazen Anasian. I love Helios's guitar work on this. One of my favourite tracks on the album. Run Out of Hell. Road Out of Hell, sorry. Musically, I don't mind it. Vocally, I hate. Because I don't understand what they're saying. Late Bloomer. Great rock song, but I just can't understand the lyrics. Um, Where the Children Are. My favourite track on this album. Some great guitar li licks. Very clear vocal. Very clear, and that's what makes this a really good track. 
Um, the rant is a bit of a punky thing. A bit distorted, fits well on the album. Resurrection Blue and another interesting track. Some great licks. A bit modern day Jimi Hendrix. Nothing wrong with that. Then we get Beef. Great bass line on here. Then you get some clanging on the drums. <laughs> so, okay. Again, it's quite a good album. And as a three-piece band, it really worked. Uh, it's quite rocky, punky. So I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 6.6. .6. Okay, then coming at number nine. Uh, we'll go to 1998 for the 11th album, Activated Condition. On here, we have got Helios Creed. Paul Delapel on drums. Z Silver on the synths. Frank Gray Martin does some drums. Chris McKay's on bass. So is Jeff Pincus. And Crystal does some singing as well. So frustration to the first track. Love the start of this. The keyboard is really good again. Uh, the riffs work well. Good solid track. Exodus. This one's okay. Bit weird and wonderful. That's not what you'd expect from Helios Cream. But it's very creative. The railing in places reminds me of Tube by Army. Quite like the track. Then we get a track called Nug, the transport. I like all the electronic bits in this. Obviously, this went to become an album name as well. It's an interesting arrangement. It's got and he knows. Pure LSD, great bass line. Don't even, it all fits. The lyrics are weird, LSD, all over the place. Getting Dark, even though the lyric is quite distorted on this, and you can hear the words, it's not a bad track at all. Isolation Tank, all my bit. Oh, hang on. Start again, Ian. This has got it's an interesting rock track with some interesting pieces. Um. Half of it's okay and half of it isn't. It's quite a weird track. No excuse the French on this one. Um, next track is called Pissing on the Pondrews. Produce. Distorted guitar. Frantic drumming. Punky style. That's alright. Then we got another track that I'll do ex ex I have to swear a bit. Oh shit, what do we do? As it says on the thing. Oh shit, what have we done? That's not very good at all. Um, space, fire, water. Musically clever. But again, I'm, call me old fashioned, but I like to hear what people are singing. Okay, another mixed bag of goodies on this album. But I do like the lock of the guitar work on this. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7 out of 10. Okay, then coming in at number 8. Ninth album from 1995, Cosmic Assault. Helios Creed, of course. Chris McKay on the bass. Paul Della Bell on drums and Z Silver synthesizers. First track on here is I Condemn You. Favourite track on here. And I, it's got some great drumming here from Paul Della Bell. Uh... I think he's a very underrated drummer, actually. Especially with some of the beats he has to uh, do on these albums. Uh, it's a pretty solid track. Pounders. The guitar work on this is um, okay. But I don't understand the lyrics. Rise. Oh, I've never listened to this all the way through. I've tried, but I have to flick on. Um, the Master, great bass line. I don't know if it's done on a bass guitar or synthesizer, but it's pretty heavy. The drumming's great. It's one of my favourite tracks on the album. Cosmic Assault. What I've, I've said this before, but I appreciate He Loves Cruise's creativity on this. It puts to the effort and... They are all well produced. I can't say that, but 
I don't particularly like this track, but hats off to the man. Leaving the body. I like the keyboards on this. They're incredible. <laughs> and the vocal's really good as well. Um, the need, the drums are a little bit tinny on here. Um, Eden's Apple. And all of a sudden I get a Spanish guitar at the beginning. Wow. Uh, the guitar sounds like, the electric guitar sounds like it's playing in an echo chamber. It's very faint. It's just a bit different. No peaking. I'd say this is two minutes of reverse noise. Doesn't do anything for me. Altered strut states. Quite good. Uh, new wave track here. Not bad. Military present. A very sh short thing of pan pipes and keyboards for 40 seconds. Another album that, in a way, I do like listening to because of the arrangements. So I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 7.3. Okay, then coming in at number 7, we have the 17th and most current album, released in 2011, and it's called Galactic Octopi. Uh, here is Creed guitar and vocals, Le Lux Vibratus on bass and synths, Afel Kali on drums, Crystal Chamber guest vocals. First one is called Galactic Center. The lyric is weird, but it actually fits in this. Uh, it's not a bad track. And then we get X C I I I. For those of you that want to know, that is 93 in Roman numerals. And I didn't have to look it up either. Um, it's an interesting vocal. Uh, the vocal on here from Crystal is pretty good. I like that track a lot. Wart Slip. Love the effects on the drums at the start of this. Uh, very solid track. Then we get Terra Therma. Terra Therma. Therma. It's, it's a great uh, little track. Uh, I think if I'd have listened to this when I listened to Chrome, I thought, God, what a noise. But now I go, yeah, I get what you're doing. And then we get with Flying.com. I like how this starts. The drum and bass are really good. And then you get this wonderful, interesting vocal delivery, which fits with this. The solo is good on it as well. Red Chopper. Now, for 30 seconds, the beginning, it sounds like Tom Sawyer by Rush. But then it goes off into... Helios's style of music, and it's a quite a good track, actually. Observation Outpost. Very atmospheric track. I like that. Sil Silent Encounter. Another really interesting combination. The sounds well put together, actually. Stranger in a Manger. The Strum Strange Region. The spoken stuff on this reminds me of some of the spoken word on Alice Cooper albums and I like that track it's really good terrestrial M manifestations it's weird an interesting interesting arrangement but I'm impressed with it very good clarification I just couldn't get on with this one and then we get the title track Galactic Octopi, I think this is absolutely a fantastic piece of music. Um, the vocal is very creative, so different, and a well put together track for this style of music. I'm quite impressed with this album. And I've played it a couple of times because I'm really trying to get into this album. So I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 7.4. Okay, coming in at number six, we've got the 14th album now from 2002, and it's called Spider Prophecy. This is Helios Creed on vocals and guitars, Andrew Weiss on the bass and keyboards, John Weiss on the drums and keyboards, and Z Silver on synths. 
First track on this one, Looking For You, great bass line. Love, like the lyric on this, it's a really good track. Die To Fly, the drumming on this is awesome. And a great guitar solo on that one, I like this. Brown Side Spider, I love this track. This could have fitted on Alice Cooper's Welcome To My Nightmare. It's got that feel to it. There's just something about this track, and it's my favourite track on the album. Backdoor, some great riffs on this one. Uh, he is a damn good guitarist, I think. Life is Crimson Red, a track that doesn't do much for me. Mars, some really good guitar work on this, so psychedelic, really good. Many, many Horses, the bass line really drives the song along. I love the drums on this. Everything's really good about that good little track. The people at the bottom. You can understand the lyrics. The acoustic guitar works in this again. Really good track. Was it just a dream? Surprise again. We've got more acoustic. And, it, and it's, he sings it really nice. This proves he can sing properly. Well, not properly. That's not the right word. He can sing normally. Old Chevy, great drum beat on this, some interesting guitar work. I really enjoyed this album, especially the acoustics stuff. I didn't expect it, but I really enjoyed this album. And I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 7.5. Coming in at number 5, 1999 now for the 12th album, Colours of Light. we got Helios Creed. On guitar, Z Silver on synths, Chris McKay on bass, Paul Delapel on drums. First track on here is Muddy. Now, even with the distorted vocal, you can hear what's being sung. It fits in with the sound of the track. Very good track. Mace, some great guitar work on this solid track. Deliverance, one of them tracks, it's got this weird new age keyboard sound and it's really good friend of mine my favorite track on here again we've got some acoustic guitar in this it's a really good track then we get paradise this is a great little little rocker one of my favorite rock tracks on here new wave sound to it really good red dawn very post-punk sound Really good track. Age of Love. The gu guitars and keyboards work well together here. It's a really good mix. Solid track. Lady Cadiver's gone. As from Age of Love, the keyboards and the guitars dominate it. The drum line is really good. And then we get Erector Annette. Probably the weakest track on the album. It's not really good. Then we get Angel of Joy. Now this just reminds me of something that Nick Cave and the Bad Seas would do. But the backing vocal sounds like Yoko Ono. Yoko Ono. It's an alright track. Space Drifter. Great bass line and there's some fantastic drumming. Strong riffs as well. Rest. We've got another acoustic track. He's really into his acoustic guitar at the moment. Like the backing vocals on here. And some harmonising. But you never get with on a Helios Creed albums. Very good. Then the last track is Zion. One of the little end of tracks with some nice keyboards. I think this is a really good album. It's one of the it's the an album that I listen to all the way through. And I think apart from one track, it's a solid album. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of seven point six. Coming in at number four then, we go to the second album, released in 1989, Superior Catholic Finger. On here we've got Helios Creed, John Carlin on synthesizers, Mark Duran on bass, Todd Pues on the drums. First track on this one, Monster Lust. Starts off with a little bit of a sermon, some interesting sampling, it's mystique, I like this, very good. Mustard Dog, 1 minute 26, maybe short, but it rocks. Great guitar work. 
Then we get superior Catholic finger. I really like this. It's a sort of spoken lyric. And the, boat, the beat really goes well with it. Good track. Next track, Too Bad. Love the drumming on this. Great riffs. Very punky. The Bridge. Another really good track. Got some mystique sound on it. The sound effects work well. Really well put together track. Who cares? I don't like this. It's too weird and dull. The Cookie Jar. What I like about this is the sound effects on the guitars. It's very prog in places. Weekends. Now, this is what I call a fusion of space, rock and punk. Very good track. Uh, last track. Very short, this album. Really good al album. Like listening to this one, actually. And I'm going to give it an RTA ranking of 7.8 top three now um i can't fault these i really can't they have very good albums and i really enjoy listening to these three so coming in at number three we go to 1996 for the ninth album and it is nug the transport he is creed z silver paul della pell on drums jeff pincus on bass frank Gary Martin does some drumming and so does Ree Welsham. First track, Cross the Line. One thing I do like about these albums, the sound effects, the sampling they do, is good. Even if I don't like the track itself, how they put the tracks together is very good. And this is another fine example of it. Vacuum Cleaner, a good track, heavy in places, great vocal on this. Superb track. Scorpio Girl. I know I've said about the vocal delivery somewhere is unbearable. But I'm not complaining about this one. Although it, you don't understand it, it fits into the song. You get my meaning. Alien Landscape. Another good track. The sound effects are great. I've only got this really great bass line. Then we got Abducted Leaving. This is my favourite track on this. It's very clever. Uh, it's got a bit of mixes of New Age, a bit of space rock thrown in there, a bit of progression rock. Really good track. Space Monkey. And I've just put on my notes here, it's too plinky plonky. Sonic Boom. This is probably one of the worst tracks on the album. Sounds like everyone's not playing in the same room. It's tinny drums. It's just terrible. Hard. Same sort of thing. It's all muffled. Nothing wrong. I don't like this one either. Very much. But then we get back onto the good stuff. <laughs> Time of Peace it's got a really Celtic feel to it I really like that track it's a, an instrumental track with a really great atmosphere America is in good hands now this is where the muffly sound does sound right <laughs> really works well now this next track Time of Peace this starts off quite good and then it gradually slows down. Now remember, all the way to remember in the old days when you had a, you could put a record playing, you put on a single one, and you could spin the deck round, and it just goes. There's bits in this in this, and I thought that's quite clever. Um, there are some really strong tracks on here. That I really, really like. But the ones that sat there recording is terrible. There's nothing wrong with the songs. It's just the way they were recorded, I think. Um, but on the whole, I really do like this album. Even though I, there's some tracks I don't like on it. The ones I l do like are fantastic. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. 
Okay, coming in at number two, we have the debut album, solo album from Helios Creed, released in 1985, and it's called X-Rated Fairy Tales. Uh, Helios Creed, vocals and synthesizers, John Carline synthesizer, Mark Duran on bass, Bill Roth on drums. First track on here is called The Descent. Love that opening riff. It's absolutely brilliant. Real rock track. Excellent. Unhuman Condition. It's guitar effects on this are brilliant. Interesting vocal. More spoken. Atmospheric. Invitation. Now you've got this sort of post-punk for the 80s. This is 1985. And guess what? There's none of that horrible that. 80s production on it, it's really good. Then we get X rated Fairy Tales. I love this track, my second favourite track on the album. I do get like the acoustic guitar in it as well. Blood Red, solid track, lots of this post punk sound that I really do like. Mystery Room, the bass line, brilliant. The riff just works around right that bass line, really good track. Showdown, my favourite track. Um, it's my favourite track because it's got some interesting effects on this. The guitar riffs are really good. Excellent track. Sex Voodoo Venus, probably the most bizarre track on the track, on the album. Um, it's okay. Then Money Man. Now this is probably one of the most commercial sounding songs I've heard from Chrome. Or Healy's Creed. But it's pretty good, actually. Then Johnny. Probably the weakest track on here. I'm not very keen on that one. Um, it's a really good album. Um, it's the first one I put on when I started this. Because I, when I do do this, I start at the beginning and work my way through. Uh, in chronological order. And I really enjoyed this one. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8.2. So my favourite Helios Creed album, and it really is my favourite. There's, there's just something about this album. It's the 14th album, released in 2003. And it's On the Dark Side of the Sun. On here it's Helios Creed on vocals, Noel Harris drums... Jeff Stroller bass. It's just a three-piece band. No, no since it's just guitars and drums. There's a little bit of um, synth in there. Um, I think Helos Creed does a little bit of synth, but it's more dominated by guitars. The first track is called Space Sexy. The start of this is incredible. And there is a slight keyboard sound on it, and it really is brilliant. The summit. I reckon this is a great. This is a great track, and I think this is probably the best guitar solo Helios Creed has ever done. Absolutely amazing. Shows what a good guitar player he is. The probe, good rocker again. A fantastic solo. Sacrament, not a bad track. Solid. It's got a great sound to it. Trailer Park Zombies. The, the bass line is very distorted. It reminds me of the Motorhead bass on the Rickenbacker. Like that track. Lady DeVille. And I love it when he gets the acoustic guitar out. Really nice track. And his vo vo vocals are really good on this. Agrophobia, another acoustic track that's really good. Love the little bit of keyboard you get on this. Very, very good. The Machine. I'll describe this track as incredibly brilliant. It's well put together. The effects are good. The solo is amazing. Such a strong track. The Eagle. One of the weak tracks on the album. It's okay. Cruising the K. The, the guitars are brilliant on this. Incredible bass line that really works well. Evil Devil Monster. 
These riffs are so back Sabbath. Tony Iommi could have put these together. The vocal is weird. It sounds like a frog singing, but it works. It really fits in with this evil devil monster theme. Then we get my favourite track on here, On the Dark Side of the Sun. There's some riffs in here that they're from other songs and I can't put the nail on the head what it is. Probably one of my favourite tracks Heinous Creed has ever done. Um, the riff is so good. I'd say it, I'd say it's very bubble popping places as well. Um, great track. Sea of Glass. The whole out. You've got this real heavy album even with the, the acoustic guitar that's on it, most of the tracks are heavy, but then you get this real proper acoustic atmospheric track, which is absolutely brilliant. Great way to end the album. I chose this as my number one for a few things. I think it's got some of Helios's best guitar work that he's ever done. The production is really good. The, the arrangements are brilliant. As I said before, I've got a lot of respect for this guy. guy. And I didn't realise what his actual contribution to the music business is. He took that space rock industry sound and turned it on its head. And... I do love this album. I think this is just probably the best thing he's ever ever put out. Even with Crow or with Crow. This is absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna give it an RTO ranking of nine of eight point five. And it's in nine point five is it's good but not nine point five. Um there we have Helios Creed. And I'm sure there's gonna be comments in the thing are you doing Damon Edge yeah Damon Edge will come up sometime next year I really enjoyed doing this one even though it's well out of my comfort zone again um, I hope I haven't offended Helios Creed fans but um, I'm glad that someone put me in into this sort of music because I now I think I now really appreciate what it's all about, even more than I did when I ranked the Chrome albums. Okay, that's all for today, folks. Um, we've got um, tomorrow is live stream, and also we've got a really good battle of the bands for you. Quite apt this week because one of the bands was inducted in, at long last into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Two bands, humble beginnings, and went off in two different directions. But the, both their debut albums are very similar. We're talking about Rush and Judas Priest. And tomorrow's album artwork is Def Leppard. So have a good day, everyone. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.